Hey guys, welcome back and I hope you all are doing well and I am officially back on YouTube and I'm so happy to be filming this video for all of you and yeah, just welcome back, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Bhumika and I'm a PhD student in my final year and yeah, I just like making videos on YouTube and I talk about anything and everything that I feel like and unlike most of my videos today's today's video is actually going to be a get ready with me which I believe I have not done in a long long time so when I started this YouTube channel I started with um, makeup content and I used to make a lot of makeup videos hairstyles and fashion content and then eventually my life took a turn I joined PhD and then most of my content was surrounded around PhD, like, you know, living in abroad and all of those things. So yeah, it's, it became more of a lifestyle content and I'm again back here doing a makeup video today. This one is going to be a chatty one. So just get something for yourself, get a snack, get coffee, water, whatever you want. And we'll start with a makeup video and I'll talk a lot in this video because I want to talk a lot about a lot of things but I want to keep it very casual I just don't want to sit here and keep on saying stuff I just want to talk with you guys while I do my makeup so that it feels more intimate and this is how I want it to come back on YouTube so yeah I'll keep doing my makeup and I'll keep talking I might not show you guys each and everything that I'm doing using if I'm like too engrossed in talking but I would link each and everything in the description box below so just go ahead and check that out in case you want to know something also i have my bare face on today i deliberately chose um like shooting mode on my camera which was uh, depicting my real skin and not a filter because if i shoot in self-portrait then i look so pretty but in real life this is my skin i am healing from isotretinoin i had severe acne um one year one and a half year back so i still have a lot of scarring on my face and i know i'm not trying to hide it i'm just um doing this so, so that i can show you guys how my skin is actually camera is not the real game but sometimes it's good to have um no filters in life that was my moisturizer CeraVe moisturizing cream and i'm gonna go ahead and start with my primer so the first thing that i want to talk about is my break on youtube so if you guys don't know i took a break from youtube um one month one and a half month back maybe like thinking of taking a break from a long long time and no i don't upload regularly on youtube so some of you who follow me may be wondering you know you still don't upload every other week so what's the point of taking a break um the reason i took a break was i had this mental breakdown on this one particular morning the morning that i posted that i won't be um active on youtube and it was not caused by youtube it was not caused by anything i don't know what got into me i just woke up one day and i just felt so suffocated from all the social media and everything and i just felt like you know what i'm not good enough i just don't want to have a youtube channel i don't know what i'm doing in my life you know phases that all of us go through and i acted upon it and i wrote that message crying in my bed that i want, don't want to be a youtuber i don't want to post anything on youtube but after this i took a break from youtube obviously and break in the sense that i was not thinking about youtube and it was like i think after a very very long time i had a period in my life where i was not thinking about uploading a video i was not thinking about making this or editing even though i don't edit on everyday basis i keep thinking about it so it's still like a mental pressure that i put myself on you know like you know what i have to film a video so and i took that chance of not of thinking of taking a break from youtube to go cure my mental health because at that point of time covid was so much hyped up and not hyped up but you know the instagram was showing so many deaths people were crying for their loved ones and even i lost a family member during that time so 
it was just hard for everyone um around us and different people deal differently with um grief or with different situations so i know a lot of content creators up their game they started creating more so that people can see more positive content and i on the other hand took a step back i just didn't wanted to consume any social media whatsoever so i even deleted my instagram for some time because i just wanted to take a break from everything that was happening did not think about uploading a video did not think about editing that video or you know brainstorming new ideas and it really helped it really really worked for my benefit because honestly i just feel so much better i just feel like that old um bhumika that started making videos so i'm just you know trying to come back to youtube with that same energy with that same um consciousness that i had when i started this channel and i feel like i was way more um regular on youtube during that time than i am today it just helped me clear my mind it just helped me make me realize that i do like youtube and the first video i started editing after my break was like last week and i've already finished editing it and i was just you know so happy looking at my content like you know it's a good content i like watching my videos why did i stop it why was i so much um doubting myself and sometimes it gets to you the criticism i don't get much criticism online um but sometimes it's just hard to focus when you're going through a lot when you're doubting yourself and someone comes and pin points you that you know what you you're doing that wrong it just takes you back i don't know if you guys can relate to it but if you're insecure about something and the other person comes out and points out at that particular thing it is hard it is a lot to take in so i was going through that phase i know others comments should not matter but it does affect you sometimes if you're not in a right headspace right now i feel like i'm in a good headspace so if somebody comes and comments at me i would just be like yeah whatever i don't care but at that time even a little bit was affecting me a lot i am back now i have a lot of videos planned and i would be uploading videos every single week i have at least one month of videos planned edited and ready to go so i would be uploading every sunday a new youtube video and i am just going to see how uh this journey takes me how much i like it and if i feel like i'm doing good i would keep uploading at the same rate um otherwise i might take breaks here and there which is normal um i'm just going to do my eyes now i'm going to do a very very simple basic makeup i just used my concealer this is the uh, catrice liquid camouflage i um concealer really nice it's not available in india so the one that i like using like a dupe is elegol pro conceal this is also as good as the other one i'm going to do my eyes i'm using this elf palette so also the covid situation in india was kind of um aggravated everything um i just kept seeing people losing their loved ones like i'm far far away i was scared for my own family i was scared for my friends and you know everyone else that's also one of the reasons that was triggering my mental health and i just deleted instagram because i know um deleting instagram won't solve any problems but still if you can uh like try to maintain a cool and try to help anyone who is around you who is suffering from covid whose family member is suffering from covid just try and talk to those people just try to um lessen their pain if possible i also donated um some amount to khalsa aid which is an international organization working tirelessly towards covid patients but so if you can or in any which way like if you can volunteer if you can just help them it would be great our help goes a long way i checked out every single thing on their website they were updating they were showing how they're spending money 
so i did all those things and after a lot of research i donated and i know it's not a large amount but it's my hard earned money and i'm donating it to an organization that i would like to work for the people so i just want to be sure that i'm donated in, donating into a right organization so if you are in a capacity if you are someone who is earning money or even if you have some savings and you would like to contribute please donate that's that's the least that i could have done um in this time that my country was suffering so yeah so so much worse right now and i really hope that it gets better but first you have to take care of yourself only then you can take care of others and there's one quote that i really appreciate and i have been more appreciative of that quote in this time is you cannot pour from an empty cup so if you're empty inside you cannot give back to anyone so just try and be more considerate first towards yourself and then be considerate towards others and that's how things go right so that's um one thing that i wanted to um briefly touch upon i'm going to fill my eyes eyebrows using this creme shop macro brow this is a korean brand i got it from cvs i don't think it's available in india so in this break i took a nice little trip to austin with my friend anu um you guys have seen her in previous videos and what not so she's been my friend for so long 11 or 12 years so so i did film some things on that trip so that would be going live also sometime in the summer talking about summer i am going to be um teaching this summer i have never really taught anything in summer but this time i'm teaching i'm teaching three um labs per week so it's going to be a hectic summer i've always been like a research assistant i never had to teach but um due to grant shortage i would be teaching which is a different experience but the good part or the best part is that i don't have to teach again after summer so there's this scholarship that you can apply for if you're in your final year in my university which is called dissertation fellowship so if you are um in your final year and you want to get some free time to write your dissertation you can apply for that scholarship and i got that scholarship thing from august till um i think next year till the time i graduate i don't have to teach so that's wonderful that's going to save me a lot of time um to work on other things like my research so that you know i can spend more time of finishing up my projects and hopefully graduating on time so that's one of the good things that has happened to me in last few months it's going to free up so much time i don't have to grade papers i don't have to prepare lectures i don't have to physically get up and go to my university because as you guys know i'm a computational chemist so i work entirely from home i don't have to go anywhere um i have my setup here i line my eyes now so i won't be speaking anything because honestly i cannot do that while I cannot apply my eyeliner and speak so yeah So as I was talking about my research um I also got a paper published so this was one of the work that I was working on when he passed away and my current professor was kind enough to give me permission to work on the paper side by side so that's why I was kind of extremely busy with that project so every single week i was meeting up with another professor who was helping me with completing this research project that my professor started so i'm so grateful that i was able to actually complete it i am going to insert a little clip of my paper as a first author uh, it's actually my seventh paper but this one is very very close to my heart because it's from my professor it's my last paper with my professor so i'm going to leave it somewhere on the screen wherever you can see it i don't know from where most of you guys are who watch my videos so i would very very much appreciate if you can just leave 
um what's your profession what you do are you a phd student are you master student or bachelor's into basic science or arts or whatever you guys do because i don't know if i should talk a lot about these things i'm also going to start working on writing my dissertation very very soon so that's on my um agenda i also want to go and visit india very badly but i don't know when that's going to happen i don't have any ideas when um like the flights would open and you can travel safely so all of that is still very much in the air we don't know how it's going to work out i just don't know how to apply bronzer honestly i just do a very messy job of doing that but yeah whatever coming back to youtube i have my next video which is going to be my birthday vlog um going up on sunday so just uh keep an eye of me uploading a video on sunday i'm still not sure about the timing i might do it on sunday mornings like 10 11 am india time so i am not sure how it's going to be but let's see i might premiere it something like that i don't know i let you guys know when i upload i am also starting to work out now i lost some weight but now i've again started gaining um which is totally fine i'm not against it it's it's a part of life it's normal to lose and gain weight all the time so i'm not trying to lose weight but i do really want to get into a healthy routine i want to move my body because my work is such that i have to sit on my desk pretty much all day that's my work so i would really like to be more regular with my workouts and i have been working on that i have been going um on walks and now i've started chloe thing workouts like challenge and all those things so yeah that's my main agenda not trying to lose weight i would love to tone my body but honestly it's fine i'm not in a rush to do that i just want to eat healthy and i just want to have um much more movements in my body right now i want to buy a nice nude eyeliner because i think that just opens up my eyes i have very hooded eyes and very small eyes so i don't do much eye makeup because it never shows up i'm not going to apply any highlighter because my skin itself is very um oily right now so the last thing that i want to talk about is i'm moving out from this place on 1st of august and moving to a new place a new apartment actually which is going to be hopefully my last stay in um labuk or in my town because then i would move out for post op so you guys can expect one um move out vlog and i'll show you guys my new place i'll obviously do a room tour a house tour depending on how everything goes and if i like it i'm definitely going to share it with you all so yeah that's that's one of the things that is going to come in the future um i literally be living there for one year and then moving out to a different place hopefully so for lipstick i'm going to mix these two then this dior lipstick in the color rogue dior classic matte love this color it just matches my skin tone so and i i wear this lipstick almost on most occasions because this just looks good with everything uh this is bojo uh rogue edition velvet in this color 07 velvet and the earrings i'm going to wear today are these gorgeous earrings they have this dried flowers in them so i got this on my trip to fredericksburg with my friend and honestly i love them they're so cute so yeah guys this is the final look i hope you guys like it and if you do please leave a lovely comment something that you would like to say to me just write it in the comments it really makes my day um i check my comments every single day honestly and it just makes me very very happy and yeah that's that's all about it i really pray that for you and your loved ones to stay safe just be careful please stay at home and try to work on yourself and just you know 
be happy and i love you all so so much i'm so happy to be back on youtube and i will be seeing you guys much much more often now so yeah thank you so much for stopping by uh, thank you for spending your time with me and i'll see you guys in my next video